Hey, welcome back everyone. SV Math Teach here. Today we're going to talk about the second of four movements for transformations, and that one is called a reflection. Now the reflection is probably the easiest of the four. Um, a reflection is a, is a flip. Um, you see here a drawing of a reflection. The only real issue with reflections ever is not identifying them. Identifying them is usually pretty easy. Um, we can see that this thing has just been kind of flipped over like you would see in art class. Your art teachers would call it symmetry. But your art teachers would also focus on something called a line of symmetry. The line of symmetry, which is where, where the original object, right? So this is the original, that's the OG there, and where your new object, what did it flip over? What did it reflect across? So in this one, this reflected across the y-axis. And if we were asked to describe this, we would write it reflected across the y-axis. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Identify that there has been a reflection. Identify what you reflected across or over, and you're done. Here's another example, right? I have a trapezoid up here. Um, I know that's my original because the letters themselves are just letters, W, X, Y, and Z. And down in this newer version, they have primes. They have those little uh, like uh, apostrophes above them. So those are prime symbols, we call it. And that's how we know that's the new shape. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. We have a reflection. Um, I can see the object has just been flipped from kind of the top to the bottom. It's been reflected. And this one, if you're not sure where it's reflected, by the way, you can always do this. Just count how far apart two points are. So I'm going to pick point W and W prime. And I'm going to count their one, two, three, four spaces apart. I'm going to cut that four spaces in half, and that's my line of reflection. You can see the line of reflection in this example is my x-axis, so you would simply write that this is a reflection across or over the x-axis. Right? Very simple. So a reflection across the y-axis would have gone left and right. I deleted that y-axis there. Reflection over the x-axis is up and down. And if you have something that's left and right or up and down, but it doesn't look like the other ones, right? This was our line of reflection before, but look at this. There's two spaces here, but there's four spaces there. That makes me think that my line of reflection isn't where I drew it with that squiggly line. Let's see if we can even that out a little bit. And it's a little sloppy, but let's see if we can... Imagine if we just moved it over a tiny bit visually, this would be three, and this would be three, and now I think we're in business. And what is that squiggly line? How could we describe that? Well, it crosses the x-axis at number one, right, the first space. So this is line x equals one, and we would say there is a reflection across x equals one. And that's it. Reflections are simply flips. They'll flip either up to down, left to right, or if you're in an advanced class of some sort, you might do some flips on the diagonal. We're not going to do that in this video because we're not going to do that in this unit. With that said, good luck with reflections.